We have a tournament going on right next to us. And like you, some of these ladies are tired of popping up the ball. So we're gonna give you four things that can help you to stop popping up that ball, especially on these easier shots, so that your opponents can just put it away on you. This video is sponsored by Carbon, but more on that later. The first tip to keep you from popping that ball up is a mental one. So a lot of it has to do with fear. So when we're in those transactions at the kitchen or someone's about to wind up to smack the ball, what we do is we pop our chest up, we fall back a little bit, we get reactionary, our face of the paddle opens up and then we pop that ball up. So what I want you to do is be okay with being hit with the ball. Be okay with embracing being hit with it and just step into it and be confident in making good contact. Do not be scared, do not be frightened. As soon as we come off of that, we don't control by it. As soon as fear enters the equation, we lose control, we lose control of our paddle and our balance and everything. So next time you're playing, make sure that you're confident, you're not scared of that ball and you're ready to get hit, even if the ball's coming at you 60 miles an hour. So the second tip for you to not pop that ball up is making sure that your balance is good and your weight is a little bit more forward than we are backwards. As soon as we start backing up or we get un unbalanced, the paddle becomes unbalanced. All of a sudden we're popping balls up or we don't even know where the ball's gonna go. So what I like to do is I like to make sure my heels are a little bit off the ground so that my weight is always forward and then I, my, my chest is staying forward and my paddle is out in front. I'm staying forward. As soon as my heels go back, my weight goes back, I lose control of that paddle face. So make sure that your knee bend is good, that your weight is on the front foot, you got your heels slightly off the ground, and that paddle is out in front, just at that neutral level, more like sternum level. So the third tip for not popping that ball up is making sure you have soft hands. A big problem, especially when we're getting low balls, especially when we get balls around the waist, whether it's a drive or a speed up, okay, we a lot of times the face gets open like this. A lot of that has to do with tightening our hands. As soon as you tighten your hands, your wrist locks up and then opens that paddle. So keep that the hands loose so that you can relax your wrist so the paddle stays forward. We open overcompensate sometimes and we think, oh, because we get a low ball, we, ha we have to open the face and pop the, you know, get the ball higher. Whereas in reality, we only need the face maybe slightly open, especially if it's a low ball. And if it's at our waist, a lot of times that waist is above the net, depending on how tall you are. We just need to keep the pal face forward. And only the way you can do that is keeping some, like a good light grip on the paddle and keeping that face forward, blocking the ball around that waist level. So next time you're out playing, make sure you're holding that grip like an egg. You don't want to break it in your hand, but you also don't want to drop it. You want to keep it secure. So make sure you're holding it like with that grip and not opening that face too much, especially on those low balls, whether it's down at your feet or at your waist, you're keeping that face slightly open versus way open popping that ball up. So the final tip to make sure that we don't pop that ball up is making sure that we don't move our paddle too much with a fast ball coming at us. So a lot of times we pop the ball up when you get a medium to fast paced ball coming at us. A lot of time we move our paddle too much. When we move our paddle too much and we extend through it, that face tends to open up and get away from us. So next time you're playing, make sure that we almost keep the paddle still in a defensive position. So if that ball's being hit hard at me, I'm just gonna block it. And if I do need to move it, I'm gonna move forward pushing my wrist forward versus using my wrist and then opening that paddle face. So if I have to move forward a little bit, I'll move forward like this, okay? And I'll keep it as simple and slow as possible with those soft hands versus flailing or swinging violently against a shot like that because that tends to pop the ball up. So keep those soft hands, not a lot of paddle motion, keep it still. And if you have to move it a little bit, keep push through it with your wrist versus using your hand. Before you go, be sure to check out Carbon Pickleball and use code PBJOURNEY10 for 10% off any paddle or Carbon Pickleball gear.